why is this the right fit for you at this stage of your career? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's an organization that expects to win. And, and certainly this year we saw, you know, particularly with going out and getting Goldie and just, you know, what they do every year, you know, that's what I want to be a part of. And for me, you know, when, when the Cardinals showed interest at some, you know, a, a team that always gets your attention, and I'm glad it worked out. Why do they get your attention? Why do players revere St. Louis? I think the history, whether it's, you know, the, the short term or the long term, you, you can go back and, you know, there, there's Hall of Famers that have played here and there's Hall of Famers that are playing here. So it's, uh, it's just the type of club you want to play for. And, you know, certainly, you know, when I start doing my due diligence on my end, it, it seems like they're, you know, I know they haven't reached their goal the last couple of years, but, you know, they're going the right direction and the tensions are there. Do you care about a specific role for you in the bullpen? I want to win. I, you know, whatever I can do to help the team win, and you know, I think flexibility is great in the game. You know, certainly teams, you know, can appreciate having a, a set in stone, you know, back end of a bullpen. But you know, at the same time, if we can match up and be flexible, maybe that's even better. What's it like that you completely changed an entire trend in Major <laughs> League Baseball, having the elite guy come in in the fifth or the sixth or the seventh? I don't know that I changed anything. I think, uh, you know, I was fortunate. I went to New York and, uh, you know, certainly, you know, we had some pretty good arms there and we kind of bounced around, which was, you know, the first step. But I got traded over to Cleveland and, and you know, Cody Allen was the established closer, as, you know, established as they come. And, you know, he was open to whatever, but it just kind of worked out that way. It's not, you know, something I, I think I deserve any credit for. It. You know, our job as pitchers is to pitch when we're called upon. Are you 100% pain-free right now? Yeah, I feel great. I'm ready to go. I, I think that, you know, I put in a lot of work this offseason in order to, to feel this way, and, you know, I'm going to keep keep going at it and make sure it stays that way. I know you're a humble guy, but those stretches, those two or three years where you were unhittable, can you describe what that is like on the mound when you're feeling it like you did? It's a lot of fun when you have success at this level. It's, it's uh, you know, it's not always easy, but when you get on a run, you know, try to ride it out as long as you can and you know when things aren't going your way try to get off that wave as quick as you can but you know I feel like I had a good stretch but I feel like I get a lot more in me. And during that stretch when you're on the mound are you feeling that I don't care who's up at the plate I'm getting them out. I mean I think that's part of it if anything you, you want to see the best guys I think there, there's no better feeling than to, to beat the best you want to go through the middle of the lineup or you want to go after and, and out there and beat the all-stars so you know, I think that's the game within the game, but at the end of the day, ultimately, it's, you know, did we win or lose, and, you know, winning's the priority. you got to be a little bit of an adrenaline junkie to succeed in what you do. Describe that high. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, coming in as a reliever, you know, there's certainly, you know, you need to, to thrive in that situation or else, you know, the game's going to kind of eat you up. So something, fortunately, you know, for me, when I got moved to the bullpen, it, it seemed like a good fit, and I think I've, you know, I, I've improved with that and gotten better and better at it, but, you know, it's certainly something that, you know, some guys are maybe more cut out for than others. And was there one um, transcendent moment in your career where either you picked up a pitch or the move to the bullpen where it, you changed the trajectory of your career? Yeah, I mean, I, I think in, in some ways it's not that simple. It, it's, uh, you know, I certainly had my struggles, and then once I felt like I got things going in the right direction, it was, uh, you know, even just day to day, you know, piece by piece. But, you know, ultimately I think probably going to the bullpen in uh, 2012 was. You know, maybe something I was a little reluctant to do, but ended up being a great fit for me, and my career really took off. Finally, we're doing something on social media. I don't know how active you are. Do Not you there. Post, you, you don't care about it? You'd rather avoid it, or you tell me? Uh, I mean, I, I, I really don't post very often at all. I, I tried it for a little while. It doesn't do a whole lot for me, but I get it. I know that people are engaged with it. So you really don't want to tell people I just had Cheerios for breakfast? No, I don't think they should be that interested in you know what I ate or you know what I'm doing at that exact moment. But at the same time, I know some people do a great job with it.